Hey everybody and welcome back to some more Frostpunk. We're currently on day 24, it's negative 40 degrees Celsius, and we've got a crazy amount of coal, seven days worth of coal at the current going rate, which I am very happy about. We do have a very large number of people in our city right now. 322 is uh, a bit high, but that's okay because right now we're on track to lose almost 100 of them to the Londoners in just six days time. So really, our goal now is to try and stockpile more of everything. We're doing really well on coal. We're doing pretty well on wood. I'm still hoping that we can find a outpost somewhere for steel so that much like with our coal mine here, we can start to bring back a more consistent and hopefully quite large amount of steel uh, to help us expand the city. But I think food is also gonna be a big issue for us. I think we really want to try and keep going with the, the food and really try and up our food production. Right now, we're doing pretty well. We're gaining 62 extra food rations per day, which is pretty good. But in the long run, I really think we do want to have uh, more food than that stored up for when things get really cold. But uh, speaking of our scouts, they have reached the research station, which has steam cores, steel, and wood. Let's go ahead and explore here. The last discovery. Inside the ransacked station, we found Tesla's audio diary. A voice speaks all the observed changes, like the sun's dimming, volcanic ash could not have caused such cooling. But what if the huge quake of 1887 in Patagonia was an asteroid strike? The shouting crashes and silence. Numerous tracks lead from the door towards the mountains. Site discovered cave hideout. All right. So we have discovered yet more locations. We have the cave hideout and the ice corridor. We're quite close to the cave hideout here, only seven hours. It looks so different on the map. It looks like we're very close to the cave hideout and quite far away from the ice corridor. A wide lane of crushed ice extends along the shore as far as the eye can see, obviously left by an American dreadnought. Let's go to the ice corridor. We can always kind of ping back this way on the way back, I guess. I am still contemplating the fishing village that we have here. The fishing village could be used to get us a more consistent source of food as well. The only reason that I'm not really considering that right now is because at the moment we are severely limited by how much steel we can get. The only steel we can get are from these two little patches where you can put down uh, steel steamworks. Now, food, we could put down as many flying hunters huts as we like. So long as we have the people around to actually man them, we can get as much food as is humanly possible with just a ton of hunters huts. And so I'm kind of hoping to use our second outpost depot. Remember, we can only have two on getting steel, if it's possible, which I'm still not quite sure whether or not it is. Now, one thing I do need to bear in mind this episode is that we have things that need to be done in the bottom left here. More people have joined the Londoners. It seems inevitable at that point. Hope is quite low discontent, not particularly high, but definitely not, you know, super low. But we do need to make sure that we sign the public penance law. Otherwise, hope will fall, discontent will rise, and that is not what we want. We've promised to sign this. And so uh, in how many hours now? 21 hours we need to remember to sign that law other than that we have the technology tree which right now is working on healthcare insulation after that is done i think i'm gonna work on difference engine i think i'm gonna start working on tier four not only does that unlock advanced steelworks which allows us to finally start making more steel from our uh, little steam patches but it also gives us faster outpost teams which i'm assuming can bring back either more coal or the same amount of coal but more quickly um, as well as additional scouts so we can start looking you know even faster to try and find this potential uh, steel outpost location that may or may not be out there and then of course there are just other bits of research as well stuff like uh, housing redesigns or flying hunters gear just things that are going to help us uh, along our way just in general so i do think that as soon as we're done with this bit of research here we will move on and, uh, and start working on tier four so long as we still have the resources for it i think it needs 125 wood and then 75 steel okay that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Our city is getting quite dense. And I did mention in the last episode how outside of the kind of center ring here, things are a little bit all over the place, which is still definitely true. We do have 49 people unemployed, 12 of which are children, which is fine. We could, if we wanted to, put down like another wall drill right here and start upping the amount of uh, wood that we're producing. However, the scouts have reached the ice corridor. Five... Did I read that right? Five steam cores? To be fair, they might have... I don't think they found five here. I think they have five because we've kind of... They've been walking for a while and we haven't had them come back just yet. But uh, let's explore. Really hoping that they don't die here because that would be bad. A triumph of engineering. 
We marvel at the thick slabs of ice that have been crushed and swept aside by the American dreadnought Hephaestus, <laughs> however you pronounce that. Soon we might be able to learn how it managed to accomplish such feats. We can see a huge silhouette in the distance, which might be its sister ship, Prometheus. Site discovered icebound dreadnought. Carry on. So now we have, oh, back out again. Now we have icebound dreadnought and the cave hideout. I do kind of want to bring these guys back. They have got five steam cores, as well as a lot of wood and a lot of steel. But it's quite the trek back, 24 hours. It's going to take them a full day to get back. And it's only going to take them eight hours to move forward and follow this dreadnought. So we'll do that. We'll send them off. And our other scout team is also uh, ready now at the Snow Cliff, which has food rations, yet more steam cores, and, and wood. So let's see what they found here. The refugee from Winterhome. 101 food, one steam core, and 59 wood. I will take it. No, oh no, we did find a new location. Shrouded Cave. I was going to say no new location, but we have yet one more. We'll send them over there. Same logic. I don't want to bring them back uh, because they're just so far afield. There is a little bit of research, and I think it might be in tier four, that unlocks us more scouts. Yeah, right here, additional scouts. So we could have a third team, you know, out and about trying to find, you know, even more stuff. I think much like with research, the further afield we can go with our, uh, our scouts, the better. They always seem to bring back more stuff in ever increasing quantities, and uh, we need as much stuff as we can humanly get. But uh, as I was saying, we have 50 people just shy of who are not working. And there are a few things we could do with them. We could build more Hunter's Hangers. Also, real quick, let me go and get that uh, tier four research underway. And also, quick detour. I do notice that three of our workshops are at four out of five capacity. They don't have uh, the full amount of engineers and are thus only working at 80% efficiency. And so what I will do is pull three engineers away from the faith keepers and, uh, and add them here just to squeeze out that little bit of extra performance from our uh, from our workshops just to get the research going a little bit quicker there but uh, as i was saying we have a few options when it comes to what to do with our people obviously steel is what i want to make but right now the options are coal or food really now i do think that food is the most sensible option we've got so much coal in fact we're going to need to get another large resource depot if we want to store all of the coal that we're getting and so i think for now what i will do is is once again build uh what might be like our fifth or sixth one two three four five i think this is our sixth flying hunter's hut which i do think is fine i think we can definitely the more food the better right i don't think the food goes off in this game and so really just getting as much of it as is humanly possible that is only going to employ 15 people and so, in reality, we could even put down another one. Although I do kind of want to keep a good amount of wooden steel in reserve, just in case we need quite a lot for research, especially as we get, you know, further down the tech tree here. A lot of these things do require, you know, quite sizable amounts of uh, of steel and wood. So keeping as much of that as possible is, uh, is good. Uh, scouts have reached the children's hideout. Oh, I see. More survivors. Oh, man. How many children? Little survivors. We talked to the children in the hideout. They said that one night, their teacher and some hunters took them out from winter home on a secret adventure. Teachers told them they were going to stay here for a while. When the food ran low, their guardians went back to get more and didn't return. It seems the kids were evacuated in time before things in the city got really ugly. 34 children. That we can escort back, we can send them back, or we can leave them essentially to die. Now... We have 322 people currently in our city. So if we take in 34 more, we have to build three more houses and that takes us up to 350 people. We also, of course, have to feed 34 extra people. And so this is one of those points in the game where from a practical standpoint, it makes no sense for us to bring these children back, right? When we've got children who are not working, we have an excess of children right now who are not working. You know, we don't have enough jobs for 34 extra children, never mind the, like, 20 that we already have unemployed. All they are are mouths to feed and, and bodies to warm. But that's kind of the whole point, right? You know, where's the humanity? That's the thing about this game. I think the game does really want to, to push you to be the bad guy. I'm not going to do it. I'm bringing these kids back. They're coming with us. We took care of the children. I might live to regret that when things get cold and we have nowhere near enough food and housing should be fine but i think really food is going to be the big one uh, i might live to regret that and people in the comment section can point out how it was a mistake but for now 
We're going to keep taking people in. We're going to keep, you know, hopefully being the good guys. Look at that. Discontent is at zero. People are so happy. We've only got five people who are ill, which is brilliant. Let me uh, assign 15 people there. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and build another one. Given that we've just taken in an extra, you know, nearly 40 people, an extra bit of food is not going to go to waste. The Icebound Dreadnought. More steam cores, steel, and wood. Two more steam cores, 125 steel, and 212 wood. Calculating genius. Okay. Oh! Send an outpost team here. An outpost team can be set up to deliver 100 steel per day. Not a crazy amount. It's not the uh, 800 coal per day, or even the 150 wood per day that you can get. But we have found the outpost for steel, which is good. And also, these guys are now holding on to seven steam cores, as well as a ton of wood and steel. And so I think, finally, I'm going to have these guys come back. So you, you know, come home. It's going to take them over a day to get back, but that's fine. Uh, we'll send them right back out to uh, one of these two to start exploring just as soon as they're done. But uh, that does mean that uh, we can actually put our other people to work in an outpost depot. So let's do it. Let's put down our second and final outpost depot over there. We will, of course, connect that up with uh, pathing. And hopefully they get that done fairly quickly. Uh, we've definitely got enough food to uh, generate the outpost team. I don't know if you can add like a second outpost team to one outpost depot. It says current limit one. Which leads me to believe that possibly you could add a second one. I wonder if faster outpost teams allow us to send two instead of one. Maybe. That would be huge, if true. Because if we can get, you know, four outposts instead of two, that's just, it's massive. We can get so much more food, so much more wood or steam cores. I don't really think we need steam cores. Given that we have one, we've got seven more coming. There are definitely more steam core intensive buildings later on. Like, for example, the uh, steam wall drill here requires two steam cores so if we want to build two of those we'd of course need four steam cores but again right now i'm kind of okay with where we're at on wood obviously eventually if we have just the excess resources and we might as well then uh, then sure but until that point uh, so the coal people are backed up because we do not have anywhere to put the coal so resources large resource depot let's put down yet another one to hopefully store this massive amount of coal is our uh outpost up it is so let's generate you and then let's send you all the way over to here it does say 100 steel every day so despite the fact that they appear to be quite a bit further away than the coal it looks like they're really not it's still going to be exactly the same so there we go we'll send them out over and that i think is going to be huge i think that's going to really help us in terms of uh expanding the city especially when it comes to upgrading everybody to houses right now we have a few people in houses mostly the people who are on the outskirts of the uh, of the city. But in an ideal world, with temperature drops to negative 70, I would like to, uh, to get everybody, you know, in a nice warm house. Now, before I forget, purpose, public penance. To err is human, but those who stray must do public penance to discourage others from the path of evil. Only then can they be forgiven. New ability, public penance, each use raises hope, People abandon the Londoners with each use. That's interesting. Each use lowers discontent. Discontent will rise, and then public penance can cause injuries. I don't like where this is going, and I really kind of don't want to sign this. However, I think we kind of have to. Our hope is still quite low, and we could definitely do with, uh, with hope rising right now. Speaking of hope rising, we do have a few abilities to use. We have evening prayer, which I will use, and we also have... A few over here. We have nighttime procession. Faith keepers will gather our people together and lead them in a procession. Discontent will fall when the procession starts after midnight. And then public penance. Do we go with the public penance? I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to wait on the uh, procession. We can only do it once every three days. And right now, discontent is not that high. However, that's quite the rise in discontent. Yeah, people are not happy with the new, uh, the new public penance law. That's fine. You know what? Uh, do a procession and, uh, and get rid of that discontent, will you? So we're going to have the uh, public penance at uh, 10 p.m. And then just after midnight, we're going to have a procession and everything's going to be great. Hopefully hope will rise, discontent will fall, and all will be good. I didn't really want to go too far down these uh, this purpose path and give too much power to the 
you know, the religious side, but what's done is done, I guess. You know, desperate times and all that. Advanced Steelworks. So right now we are producing 70 steel per standard work there. This almost doubles that to 130 steel per standard work there and still doesn't require any steam cores. And so 100% I'm going to sign that. We might even have to build a, a resource depot for steel fairly soon. That could become a problem. Right now, the only people not working are children. That is fine. Let's go ahead and assign an extra 5,400 slots to coal. So we've got nine days worth of coal here, which is good. We're about to hit negative 70. So, of course, when that temperature drops, the uh, length there will fall. Food for the hungry. So our faith keepers have found someone's illegal stash of food. It's quite big, so they plan to distribute it amongst people in need. But perhaps you'd like to use it another way. The keepers have the right idea or add it to the stockpile. 100 food rations will be added to the stockpile. Hope will fall or hope will rise. The hungry will be fed. Sure, we have got enough food. We've got 430 food rations. Uh, once we work through this raw food, we'll have even more uh, food rations. So that's fine. I'm hoping we start to see people leaving the Londoners fairly soon. If this content is at zero and hope is on the rise, I do kind of feel like the Londoners should be uh, losing uh, losing followers. Steel research is done. Fantastic. Let's go with faster outpost teams. Outpost teams and resource transport will move 50% faster. Perfect. All right, let us upgrade our current steel areas with advanced steam steel works. We'll speed it up so that can get done nice and quick. Oh, serious accident. Sir, there has been a serious accident. An automaton has stepped on a man, crushing his leg and crippling him for life. People argue that the automatons should walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of their efficiency. Hope will rise. The efficiency of automatons will fall by 10%. Or discontent will rise slightly. Automatons will remain a threat. Now, I think this is one of those situations where being a people pleaser isn't going to help us. A little bit of hope for a lifetime of inefficiency. We can't afford it. It's not worth it. I'll take the discontent. It's worth the efficiency is worth it in the long run. This sawmill is inoperative because it doesn't have any uh, any wood. That's fine. We can take that down. The uh, new steel area is almost done. I'm assuming the uh, automaton is automatically assigned to it. it. Is indeed good stuff. 34 children, 101 food, one steam core, and 300 wood. Nice. Okay. Um, we do have homeless people. And the other guys are also here. We have got too much steel. In that case, resources, large resource depot. Let's get our fifth. <laughs> large resource depot down. We'll put it over here, I guess. Oh, no, I don't want to cover up the wood where possible. Let's put it maybe over here. Sure, we'll put it over there. That's where the steel's coming from anyway, so not that it really matters. I don't think they actually calculate distance or anything like that, but we'll put it there. That can be for steel. Uh, let's send out our scouts. We have two new scout teams now who are just not doing much, so we'll send one over to the supply depot. Two days to get there, eh? That's quite the quite the trek. And then, oh, are we done? I think we're done over here. There's nothing more on this side. So I guess we'll also send the other team out over to the research station. Oh, no, that's not right. Who's going where? You're going to the research station. I actually want you guys to go to the cave hideout, if possible, please. Yeah, go there instead. That's much better. All right. Back in here. Let's hit play. We are going to lose a bit of efficiency on steel here, but that's okay. Oh, hello. Oh, man, is this the penance? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't feel particularly good about that. But the hope, man, the hope is so high. We do have 32 homeless people. Let's fix that. So people, I'm just gonna build more houses, I think, that are outside of the generator's area. So I'll put one like, I don't know how it works if a house is kind of like somewhat in range of a, of a generator. I think I'll put some over here as well. This one doesn't have a, a steam hub, so it's not going to be quite as warm, but it is within the radius of uh, the House of Prayer here. And if things get dire, which they might do in mere moments here, we can always put down a steam hub fairly close by and, uh, and solve that problem. We are waiting on our resource depot because our steel is very full. 
People regain hope. For the first time, Londoners have failed to persuade anyone to abandon the city and flee to London. People are recovering from their shock at the news of Winterhome and have started to hope for the future. I'm glad to hear that. They have lost a few people. This is good. This is very good. I say that. It might not be very good. We might want to lose people so that we have to feed less, but I think either way, we're okay. Let's have a look at our economy real quick. So food-wise, we're still getting food. We're getting even more now. We're getting, uh, what, 78 food per day excess, which is good. Coal, we're still getting a crazy amount of coal. That's always good. Wood is fine. Steel is on the rise for the first time ever, which is fantastic. That's a huge increase in, uh, in steel there. In terms of healing, we're doing okay. We could definitely do better. And then housing, everyone's doing well. Everyone's livable. A few people are comfortable. Nobody right now, at least, is chilly. However, we're mere moments away from the drop. And so, yeah, I should have done this ahead of time. But let's bump up our coal generator. I should have had this done, you know, before the temperature drop so that discontent doesn't rise. Because right now, as you can see, people are very cold at home, which is not ideal. We do also have someone waiting. You got that? Oh, no, you guys are at the... Wait. Oh, build an outpost. Here we go. Boom. How are we doing now with the heat up? People are still chilling. We could pump this into overdrive, and I might pump it into overdrive at the end of the day when people are no longer working. Even the houses are very cold. In that case, let's turn on our hubs. I'm fine with the uh, public house being off. I'm not quite sure why these houses are livable. Very low risk of getting ill. Why? Is it because you're next to the factory, maybe? I'm not quite sure why these are livable, but these ones were not livable until I turned the heater on. Either way, faster outposts has been achieved. I wonder if it tells me, like, on here, how much we're getting now. It doesn't. However, in the economy, we might see a notable uptick. We haven't. We've, in fact, seen a, uh, <laughs> since turning the generator on, uh, a massive dip in our coal production. So now we're losing coal, which is kind of okay because we've got so much of it, but definitely not ideal. Now, you say that your storage is reached. So we're not harvesting enough coal. That makes me think that maybe we should look at uh, the research for faster gathering. This one right here, efficient gathering. Coal piles will be gathered at 15% faster. What else could we do? We could get an additional scout. Not a huge priority, I don't think, just yet. House redesign. Houses will cost 10 wood and 10 steel less to build. Could be useful. Flying hunter's gear, they'll get us more food. 45 up from 30, that is also huge. Maybe generator efficiency might not be a bad idea to start to maybe curb some of that, uh, that coal use. Yeah, let's do it. Let's hit up generator efficiency. There's even like more generator efficiency we can get further down. Over here, you are going to hold steel. So hopefully all of our, you know, investment in steel is going to pay off. We could definitely do with upgrading these to, uh, to houses just so that people aren't chilly. They become livable again. Mild frostbite. A citizen has become slightly ill. Also, some people are freezing. We'll look at that in a second. Losing a limb. One of our people has undergone an amputation. I see. Consider signing the care house or prosthetics law. I'll say we must do something. I think we do want prosthetics. We have to wait three hours to sign a new law. But if we sign care house, we can then sign prosthetics afterwards. And at which point we can then put our factory to work at making prosthetics to get these uh, nine people who are currently uh, amputees, back up and running and, and working again. Uh, this, I'm going to turn the heating on for the Faith Keepers because they are freezing there. Choice or duty? Sir, a group of preachers are here to talk to you about the public penance law you signed. They think it goes too far. We all agree the penance should be a choice, not a duty. You can't force people towards the truth. It must grow freely in their hearts. I know what's right, or I will consider their words. I'll consider their words. I also kind of agree. I think the public penance law does go too far. You guys made me sign it. That's, that's my that's my defense. You guys made me sign it. We also are one house shy. I thought that might happen. That's okay. We've got the uh, the ability to build another one. Is, are these houses in the range? No, they're not. They're, oh, maybe they are. Maybe they're just inside of the circle there. Maybe that's why they're so warm. In that case, I'm going to deconstruct this hunter's hangar. I will rebuild it pretty much instantly. Just elsewhere, like over here, maybe. Actually, we'll put it with the rest of them over here. But if we can get another, you know, warm house, why not, right? The hunter's hangers don't need to be warm. The houses that people sleep in definitely do need to be warm. Uh, also, we have 
a building that is not connected via a path, that's fine. We can build a, a slightly janky path over to that house. Although actually, maybe as soon as that path gets there, then this homelessness number will go down. Oh, it did. And also we have generator efficiency. Nice. Uh, real quick, economy. I was hoping we'd see like a, a marked decrease in, uh, in coal there. Also, I can't help but notice that we haven't seen a huge increase in this. Outpost teams and resource transport will move 50% faster. Surely that means more coal and steel, right? Although maybe the economy doesn't count. The, uh, oh no, it definitely, it must do, right? Like this huge jump here has to be at least in part due to the outpost. I'm unsure. I would have thought that we'd have seen a big old bump in coal if we were getting like an extra couple of hundred coal per day. But either way, let's keep on plowing through the technology tree, shall we? I still don't think extra scouts are a priority just yet. I think heating efficiency tier two is definitely worth going for. Again, curbing that that coal use. If we can, you know, even start to gain coal at negative 70, that would be, uh, that would be huge. Let's max that out real quick. Uh, we do have a law that we could sign. Let's sign care house. We'll raise hope. We'll have to build a care house. That's fine. I think a care house is uh, very much so uh, buildable. And we'll build it over here where it's at least a little bit warm. I was hoping we could fit it there, but we can't. So I'll put it like right there. I think that's warm, right? It's not just uh, the church. Oh, no, it might just be the church. Although that could just be inside to get uh, a bit of a heat bonus from the steam hub. Either way, let's get a path down. And then let's also assign 15 people to our, or 11 people, to our hunter's hangers. Also, let's start upgrading houses. I don't want to do too many at once. Again, I'd like to keep steel where possible. But any one on the outer ring, I'm going to start upgrading to, uh, to homes. Because even right now, we'll stop there for a second. Even right now, people in the middle are chilling. Which is not the end of the world. Chili's fine. There's a low risk of getting ill. But if we just replace them with houses, which we can do now because we're getting so much steel, we can uh, we can kind of mitigate that and, and upgrade them to you know livable. Or if things get tough, we can even turn the generators down, right? Again, I'm hoping to see a drop in the number of Londoners later today. Uh, we could, I guess, pull workers from these areas and fill them with children. Which obviously doesn't sound good but i think is probably the way to go because it gives us extra workers that we can then put elsewhere for example our engineers can go on the uh, the faith keepers here the workers could as well but for now we'll do engineers and then we could also build for example like another wall drill although if we were to build another wall drill i think we just want to put an automaton on it alternatively we could also just put down another uh, call thumper which i think i will do you know i think i'll put down another call thumper like on this side maybe like right up there and then if needs be, we could put down more gathering posts around it to get even more things going there. People are homeless, but that's fine. They're getting their houses improved. Now we've got a few more people who are in livable conditions. That's all good. Let's see about getting one or two more. And by one or two, I mean, you know, obviously more than one or two more houses upgraded before work starts. Although I don't think it's going to happen because work starts very soon. Pathwise, we'll just run like up and across to there. And hopefully we don't need that many more gathering posts if we can get gathering post efficiency. Care house promise fulfilled. Hope rises. Good. Although, how cold are they? Oh, they're fine. They're comfortable even over, over there. That's good. Uh, we can turn the generator down. The temperature has fallen. Let's bring it right down to... Uh, I'll, I'll see how it is at one. It might be that we have to increase it to two just because of the difference between you know 40 and 50 degrees. But uh, hopefully, tier one is okay. Okay, let's assign 10 people to... The call thumper. They're both... Oh, this one is kind of still on the storage limit, which is interesting. Uh, generator efficiency has been researched. Fantastic. All right, what do I want to get next? Let's get the efficient gathering next. And then after we have that, we'll reevaluate the situation over here with the uh, gathering posts. We do have more children. You know, I'm, I'm going to build them anyway. I'll build them. We can always reevaluate again anyway. But no matter what, I think getting a few more... Depots down here is going to be fine. You know, we have the children to uh, to work there, so why not? And then we have a new bubble over here. What's going on? The list. Sir, a man has brought us a long list of names entitled a register of Londoners and other wrongdoers. He swore on his soul that the information is accurate and that all he wants is for them to repent and see the truth. Those people shall repent. The number of Londoners will fall, hope will rise or ignore this man. I think we have to ignore this man. Not that I don't believe you, 
but I don't believe you. And we don't know where you got this information from. I can't just take a random list and uh, expect it to be the truth, right? I think I will go and schedule a new automaton because I think I'm also going to build, like there's no reason not to build another wall drill. Like they're so cheap and we have so many cores. So I'll put one down there. We also don't really need this gathering post, I guess. We could put children there, but because there is a bit of cold there, but probably unnecessary, right? So there is the steam wall drill, which we could get. Gathering post installation is also a possibility. I think I might go for the flying hunter's hut upgrade. Allows automatons to be used at workshops and factories. Is that like one automaton per workshop? That's interesting. I wonder how good they are at research. Ooh, it does mean we can do... You know, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it because we've got so many steam cores. You know, we could replace even just like three or four of these with automatons. Like the workers at a few of these with automatons. And then research gets done during the evening. Like right now, the research is only done during the day, which is not great. Uh, cold homes. We've seen this before. I will heat some homes. Yes. Who is, uh, who is cold? You guys in the middle are chilly. Okay. For now, we're going to bump the generator up. And that should hopefully cover the uh, the quest. But I think we will also, of course, continue on our ever-continuing mission to give everybody the best housing money can buy because we've got so much wood and so much steel. I do hope that that counts. I don't know if it does count, but I really hope it does. Cold at home, overcrowded medical facilities. Hopefully that doesn't last too long. I think like 30 might be our max before we get overcrowded in terms of uh, medical facilities. 124 people homeless, obviously not ideal, but that's obviously extremely temporary. Let's go ahead and assign an automaton to the uh, the wall drill there. And uh, while we're at it, I'm gonna schedule like a few more. We'll make three of them, just so that as soon as this next bit of uh, research is done, we can, uh, you know, hit the ground running, so to speak. Cave hideout, more survivors. A few tired men. As we approach the cave, its inhabitants pull out a rifle and position behind a wall, barring the entrance. They are all in bad shape, weak from malnourishment and illness. We've discovered a new site as well. Talk to them or attack them? We have to talk to them, right? Hopefully they don't kill ours. Nothing like small talk. Seeing that we had no ill intentions, the Americans told us how they dealt justice to the inventor after expelling him from his city. We buried Tesla's battered body in the cave and we're heading home with these poor wretches in tow. Okay, so you guys are on your way back. That's fine. The other people are very close. Yeah, an hour and 23 minutes away from being, I think, here. That's fine. Uh, over here, let's assign more of our children to uh, to work. Scouts have reached the uh, supply depot. Raw food and wood. I will take it. 47 food and 212 wood. I think we will just continue on here. Uh, this way, I guess. Damaged snowcat. Six hours to arrive. All right, give it a go. See what you can find. This in no gathering resources in range. Where are you guys putting your? Is that just because there is no call from this one yet? Also, how are we doing temperature wise over here? Let's turn this on and this on. And it also looks like maybe we can turn these off for now because this one's warm just from being in the radius of the steam hub. And then finally, let's go uh, book of laws actually and uh, get that prosthetics law signed. We've got nine people who could do with prosthetics, and then uh, we can actually start to make those. And they make it from just 10 steel. Beautiful. So I'm gonna cancel these two automatons and I'm gonna get nine prosthetics going. We're full up on food rations, eh? That's interesting. I guess in that case, we should build another cookhouse, which again is another building that our children can work in, which is uh, starting to make me feel quite good about our choice to, uh, to bring all these children back. We have found yet more steel. I will take it. Have we discovered a new location? We have indeed. Let's head on over to Snow Covered Supplies or Stone Ship. Let's go to Stone Ship. Again, I don't want to spend you know too much time going backwards and forwards wherever possible. Everybody is now downright comfy. I'm going to risk going down to Zone 1. I don't think it's much of a risk, really. Yeah, everyone's still livable. So I think we have fulfilled the Keep Homes Warm promise. How long's left on this? One day, 14 hours? We do need to keep an eye on this drop. I don't know if we're going to have that done by the time this drop hits. If we don't have this done, then we need to make sure that we turn the generator up before the temperature drops so as not to, uh, not to, you know, fail this, as it were. But you can see the number of amputees is going down as we're making the prosthetics, which is fantastic. Research is almost done on allowing us to uh, research more, which is fantastic. 
If we look at our economy, hopefully we see a nice increase in coal now. We're getting so much coal. So this is our extra thumper plus the uh, efficiencies, I guess. So we're now gaining just so much coal. Wood is also on the uptick, which is good, thanks to the new automaton and the new uh, wall drill. Steel holding steady, but still quite high, which is fantastic. Food sees a big drop. I'm hoping this drop is not real. I don't know why we'd have such a large drop in food, given how many hunters hangers we have. But let's go and assign our first automaton to the workshop there. What else do we have? Further improves workplace integration of automatons, boosting their efficiency by 10% to 80%. Gathering post installation could be good. Extra food, also definitely good. What do we need for the fifth and final upgrade here? We need 100 steel and 150 wood. That seems very doable, honestly. But I think for now, we will go with flying hunter's gear to get even more raw food, even though when backing up on raw food per day. That might be why the economy was down, by the way, because we were full on food and thus couldn't collect more tomorrow. But anyway, grumpy old man. Sir, a crowd has dragged an old man from his house. They are going to force him to submit to public penance. Oh man. This man is known for his sharp tongue, but we have no reason to doubt his piety and loyalty. Disperse the crowd, or I trust my people. No, disperse the crowd. You can't just pick somebody to uh, attack and then attack them. That's not how that works. Uh, let's sign children here, I guess, to the cookhouse. We'll keep it warm. So hopefully we'll start to burn through this uh, raw food a bit faster and start storing it in our uh, in our food ration form. Uh, let's also schedule a few automatons. I think we will detour a little bit away from prosthetics because I think, you know, getting... Uh, I don't want this many automatons. Let's say three more automatons. I think getting three more automatons right now at least is more beneficial to us than getting these six people back in work. Obviously, if we've got, you know, nothing else going on at the factory, we can get these six people back in work. But for now, I want to get my automatons into the workshop so we can start really tanking through research. We are once again approaching the limit of how much coal we can store. And it might seem excessive, but I really don't think we can have ever have too much coal. Even now, and I will build this like right there. This one should have been one tick over, but that's fine. Even now, this is only 11 days worth of uh, worth of coal. If things go wrong and our outpost depot gets shut down, that's like kind of our main source of coal, I think. Maybe we're getting more from this, actually. I don't quite know. But uh, we're in trouble. Speaking of coal, what are the... Uh, upgrades because again given that we have so many steam cores it might not be a bad idea to spend some on coal mining extracts up to 240 coal per day which is less than this i guess the downside with the uh, coal thumper is you have to have people employed gathering that's fine we have that's what we have children for there is the steam coal thumper which almost doubles we go from 560 to 1120 coal per standard workday enough for four gathering posts so we do need to have a ton of people gathering but this might be our next research, the steam coal thumper. Because we can start to get some crazy amounts of, of coal if we double what we're already getting from our three thumpers over here. All right, stone ship, how are we looking? New landmark, there's nothing to do here. Okay. So we just unlocked more locations, I guess. So there's snow covered supplies. Still nothing further this way though. I guess we'll head back a bit. Yeah, there's nothing else. Uh, Oh, I didn't even uh, didn't even realize that I could rotate this. Makes sense, though. I only see two left. I'm assuming we, we will unlock, like, one or two more. Maybe. Although, maybe we've done a very good job at just scouting everything out. Who knows? Still 101 Londoners, eh? People are hopeful enough to not join them. But people are not so hopeful as to leave, which is interesting. Let's go with a sermon, as well as evening prayers. Some Londoners may mend their minds. And on top of that, let's also go for uh, the procession. Uh, we don't need the procession just yet. We'll go with the public penance. Hope will rise. There we go. Look at that. So now people are going to start hopefully actively leaving the Londoners. Oh, look at that. A group of Londoners will abandon their cause. Nice. That is very good. No gatherable resources in range. I think that's fine. I think that this kind of flickers on and off depending on how much coal is around uh, this coal thumper. Research wise, let's, let's do it. Let's go with steam coal thumpers. It's a quick and easy research. Shouldn't take too long. We're still waiting on more uh, automatons, but that's okay. Things are a little chilly over here, not gonna lie. In fact, it might not even have been a terrible idea to maybe look at uh, advanced heaters to increase workplace heating a little bit more. I think these are as hot as they can go right now, but it is still you know colder than I would uh, than I would like, especially given that these are children in the uh, in the gathering posts. If I put like another under tech yeah if i put another steam hub 
here. Do they stack? Does like the effect of the steam hub stack? I can't imagine why it wouldn't. Also, you're going to do coal. That gives us about 15,000 total capacity for coal, which is fantastic. First, Londoners convinced to stay. Sir, several of the people who wanted to flee to London have decided to trust you and stay. They say that your recent decisions convinced them there is hope for us yet. I'm glad to hear that. We're down to 81. This is good. We only have one day and six hours left, so not much time to, uh, to get this going. I probably should have done a few of these, uh, you know, evening prayers and such earlier to raise hope. You know, I kind of left a bit of time. I didn't use them as, as efficiently as I could have. It's basically what I'm saying. Are these guys warm now? No. The scouts have arrived at the city safely. Okay, so we do have more unemployed people. That's okay. Yeah, it looks like these maybe don't stack by the looks of it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We'll have to just research, you know, making that warmer then. Uh, you guys have arrived at the snow-covered supplies, which is yet more raw food. I will take it. And then from there, it really looks like there's only one location left. So I guess we'll head for it. There's nothing else around here that we could send our remaining scouts. So they're kind of just hanging out, not doing anything for the time being. But before I forget, let's get yet more houses going. I think we'll build them like on the outskirts here. I want to go for efficiency. And so even though this is not in the range of this uh, house of prayer, I'm going to go for it. So I'll build just three more houses along the outskirts like that. We could definitely do with increasing the range of the generator. I think we do have the ability to uh, unlock that bit of research. Oh, no, we don't. We've got to go one further down. Okay, that's fine. How's our automaton going? It's getting there. Slowly but surely. I do wish that was a little bit faster. Okay, research complete. Fantastic. Uh, let's go for advanced heaters. I'm a little worried about some of the people who are working in, you know, colder environments. And uh, apparently we've also unlocked... Oh, of course, the, uh, the steam cold thumpers. Oh, here we go. They're not that expensive, and they're going to drastically increase our coal production to the point where we're probably going to need even more gathering posts. But that's fine. We have we have workers ready ready to go. Let's assign a few of them to here, actually. And then I would love to get a new... Oh, we have another automaton. Let's assign him over there. Again, as many automatons as possible, really. Look at this. This automaton has fused itself with the workshop. It's become one with the workshop. I love it. A new automaton has been built. Fantastic. So I guess we can do another one here. Beautiful. What's going on at the steel mill? Stuck automaton. Sir, an automaton has entangled itself hopelessly in its assigned building. We can't free it without at least partially dismantling one or the other. And that means shutting down either the automaton or the building. The automaton will be unable to work for the next 12 hours or shut down the advanced steelworks. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to shut down the steelworks. Just because we've got a ton of steel, we could, if we wanted to, just shut down the automaton and have people work there for the day, but I don't think that's uh, necessary, right? Let's get some roads built to uh, get rid of these homeless people. People are hungry, but they shouldn't be. We've got a ton of food, like way too much food, just hanging around. These have all been upgraded, so let's check our economy now for coal. That has gone up, but I think we are limited now by gathering posts. The advanced heaters are good. These are now comfortable. So we, maybe we can turn this off and just turn these on. You know, the individual... Ah, I guess it's not worth it, right? We should turn these off and just leave one of these on. I think it makes more sense to just leave that on. Even if these are comfortable, that's fine. Real quick, 112 per hour per thumper. And these each gather around 30, depending on where they are. Some of them kind of cross paths with others. Uh, but that means that we need about three per thumper and right now we've got what six so we need like three more and let's try and have them all be able to access as much coal as possible so i'll put like one here one here and i think maybe like one out here although all of these can already access that so maybe just a third one up here yeah we'll do that and we have the people we can employ people here that does mean we're employing a ton of people on coal and i am aware that we could if we wanted to have all of our coal taken care of by automatons with the coal mine and the uh, steam coal mine and then maybe the advanced coal mine but we have so many people, right? And uh, they need to do something. Occasionally. A new automaton has been built. Fantastic. Also, we do need to have yet more... We have yet more research that we can uh, take care of. I think it's finally time to move on to Tier 5. I don't think there's much else here that we need. The house redesign would have been in, you know, nice earlier. But uh, at this point in time, we've already built pretty much all of our houses. 
Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go with the uh, automatic prototyping upgrade. And I think with that, guys, I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode there. Again, things are looking really good. We have uh, just seven hours left. And so I do... You know what? I'm going to play it out. I was going to stop the video there. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this to Steam Level 2. Because I know what will happen if I end the video now. I'm going to forget about keeping homes from for the next episode. The temperature is going to drop and then discontent is going to rise. Hope's going to fall. I don't want that. Let's get the temperature up so everyone's nice and comfortable. Then let's let the temperature drop. Let's get the keep homes warm, you know, quest complete, which might even finish before the temperature drops, which would be fantastic. Also, while I'm at it, let's assign some children and some workers over here and then workers here and workers there. Beautiful. That should hopefully actually increase our call amount. It is beautiful. And then we're just waiting for this one hour to be up. It's up. Fantastic. Also, automated uh, prototyping has been researched. And any second now, there we go. Promise fulfilled. Hope rises. People are leaving the Londoners. Things are looking good. We have got over 10,000 coal with space for up to 15,000. We've got a ton of wood and a ton of steel. More than we need right now, which is fantastic. Still four steam cores hanging around, which is also great. To the point where I think if we needed to, we could even uh, deconstruct our coal mine and then stick a, an outpost down over on Tesla City to really start to get more uh, cores. If we really wanted to get more steam cores and, you know, have our automatons work on everything, we could do that, um, given how much coal we're getting from home now. But things looking good. Next time, we'll come back. We'll progress on. Uh, it's going to get a bit colder, negative 60, then negative 70, with no rise in uh, in sight. But that's fine. I think we are looking good to, uh, to weather things out for a little while. I think we can handle negative 70. Everyone's in a house, which is good. We can definitely turn the generator down again. Unnecessary. But for now, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video and you want to see more Frostpunk in the future, go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new here to get notified as soon as new videos go out. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.